Welcome to the demonstration of Scuba Gear, CISA's security assessment tool from Microsoft 365. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency established the Secure Cloud Business Applications, or SCUBA, product to address cybersecurity and visibility gaps exposed by recent software as a service cyber attacks. While cloud business applications provide significant benefits, they must be securely configured and managed to minimize the likelihood of a damaging cybersecurity incident. What is Scuba Gear? Scuba Gear is an automated tool that assesses how tenant configurations measure against the recommended Scuba Cloud cybersecurity baselines within Microsoft 365. Scuba Gear compares tenant configurations to CIS's secure configuration baselines and provides detailed reports, reducing an organization's burden on performing manual checks for policy comparisons. Today we are going to review the following. Where to find the latest version of Scuba Gear? How to install and run Scuba Gear? The required user permissions needed for each M365 product. And what some of the Scuba Gear reports look like. We are going to start on this test Windows machine, open the browser, and go to the Scuba Gear public GitHub repository. This landing page will always have the latest build of Scuba Gear as well as a README section. When we scroll down to the table of contents, we can see that the README covers installation, prerequisites, execution, configuration, and troubleshooting. One section we will highlight is the required permissions under prerequisites. After clicking on required permissions, we are greeted with two options. Scuba gear can be invoked interactively or non-interactively. Running scuba gear in a non-interactive or automated fashion requires an application with a service principal identity that has been assigned various permissions and roles depending upon which M365 products are being tested and associated with a certificate. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will use the interactive mode. After clicking on the interactive permissions and scrolling down to user permissions, you can view the minimum user roles required for each M365 product. Power Platform along with SharePoint Online and OneDrive require their specific administrator roles whereas the other products only require the role of Global Reader. Going back to the table of contents, we will now demonstrate installing Scuba Gear from the PowerShell Gallery or PS Gallery. Although Scuba Gear can be downloaded from GitHub, the recommended way to install it is from PS Gallery. Click on Install from PS Gallery under Installation. Following along with the instructions, open a PowerShell 5 terminal. We will be opening a PowerShell 5 ISE terminal. PowerShell 5 is required because some of the SharePoint modules are incompatible with PowerShell 7. This may be fixed in a future release. Now we will run the commands listed in the instructions. Scuba Gear and the Secure Configuration Baselines, or SCBs as they are called, are continually updated to address any bugs, support new and depreciated configuration settings by Microsoft, and more. Using the command listed above, you will download the latest publicly available version of Scuba Gear. We can copy directly from the page by clicking this icon. Paste the first command in your PowerShell 5 terminal and click Enter to run. Once the module has been installed, the required dependencies can be installed. Click the Dependencies link to go to the next section. We copy and run this next command to install the minimum required dependencies for Scuba Gear. Selecting Initialize Scuba will install several Microsoft modules on your system. These modules are listed in requiredversions.ps1. It will also install the Open Policy Agent Engine or OPA Engine. 
If the initialize scuba command failed to install OPA, it can install OPA separately using the steps shown below. The downloading and installation of the modules and OPA can take a few minutes depending on the speed of your machine and network connection. It has been a few minutes, and the initialize scuba command has completed. It installed the necessary Microsoft PowerShell modules and the OPA Rego engine which is used to assess service configurations. We are now ready to set the permissions. Click on the permissions hyperlink to go to the permissions landing page. Now, click on the interactive permissions. Since we have already checked the minimum user roles for each M365 product, we are now ready to execute scuba gear in its interactive mode. We click on the executed hyperlink to go to the next section. Since our demonstration of scuba gear was installed from PS Gallery, we do not need to import the module. Scroll down to interactive mode. To execute scuba gear, we will use the invoke scuba command. In the interactive mode section, we have highlighted some examples on how to run scuba gear. Shown in the examples below are ways to run scuba gear across all products, with a single product, across multiple products, and to change the location of the output. For this demonstration, we will be running scuba gear to assess all products without changing the output location. Now that you know the basics, let's go to setting parameters on the parameters page or by running the get help command below. Click on the parameters hyperlink. The invoke scuba command let has several command line parameters, which are described below. The parameters described below include application ID of a service principal, certificate thumbprint, configuration file path, and more. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will scroll down to M365 environment. The M365 environment parameter is used to authenticate to the various M365 commercial slash government environments. This parameter is required if authenticating to Power Platform. It is also required if executing scuba gear against GCC High or DoD tenants. We will add in the M365 environment variable because we will be running it against a GCC tenant. The default for scuba gear is commercial so please specify GCC or GCC High when applicable. Scuba Gear will start authenticating against the various APIs it uses. We will use a test user account and credentials for this run. Since we have multi-factor authentication, or MFA, enabled in our tenant, we will be prompted through our MFA of choice to provide a one-time token. As Scuba Gear is running, you will only be prompted for this token once but you will be prompted multiple times to select which account to use for each M365 product that is assessed. As long as we are using the same account for each M365 service, we will not need to provide our password and MFA again. Note the progress bar at the top as scuba gear connects to each of the services as it prepares for its assessment. The process is now gathering configuration information from each of the M365 products using service-specific providers that interact with the APIs to do the assessment. The time this process takes varies depending on the size of your tenant, number of policies, users, and which M365 service it is assessing. The errors seen at the end of this run are expected and have been updated in the latest version of Scuba Gear. Now that the evaluation run is completed, the summary report is automatically opened in your browser as an HTML file. There are also JSON and CSV versions of the results that are generated as well that have been saved to the default output folder path seen here. Here you have a summary of the report with details such as the name of the tenant scuba gear was run against, the tenant's domain name, 
the tenant ID, and the date of the report. At the bottom of the report, you also can see the version of scuba gear that was used to generate the report. You can see the M365 products on the left column and the green, yellow, and red indicators for the assessment. The policy checks counted and marked as green indicate a policy test that has passed. The policy checks counted and marked as yellow indicate that a should policy test has failed and is showing up as warnings. The policy checks counted and marked as red indicate that a shall policy test has failed. Shall and should are keywords in the report and the SCBs are to be interpreted as described in Internet Engineering Task Force Request for Comments 2119. Shall means that the definition is an absolute requirement of the specification. Should means that there may exist valid reasons in particular circumstances to ignore a particular item. But the full implications must be understood and carefully weighed before choosing a different course. We also have policy tests showing up as gray on the right of the summary report that require manual review. These policies are not automatically assessed through scuba gear currently because of how the policy is written. Limitations on the property values that can be pulled through the M365 APIs, and more. Now click on Azure Active Directory, or AAD, to get to the product specific report. Please note, in a future update of Scuba Gear, we will change all references to AAD to Microsoft Entra ID. Here, we can navigate through each of the policies outlined in the secure configuration baselines and review the color coded results. Many of the policies will have additional details for the results of the assessment. In the case of AD, at the bottom of the report, there are additional sections for tenant licensing information and conditional access policies. In the tenant licensing information section, the AAD report provides additional information on license product names. The SKU identifier, licenses in use, and total licenses. In the Conditional Access Policies section, the AAD report provides additional information on the Conditional Access Policy names. State of the policy, users included, apps slash actions, conditionals, block slash grant access, and the session controls. This section can be used to review, assess, and update conditional access policies. We can quickly return to our summary page by clicking the back button on our browser. Here, we can click through any of the other M365 products assessed. We will now go to Defender and see the same breakdown of policies found in the respective Defender Secure Configuration Baselines. Now, you should be able to do the following. Navigate to GitHub to find the latest version of Scuba Gear. Navigate the GitHub README sections to install and run Scuba Gear through PS Gallery. And navigate the Scuba Gear Assessment Report. To report a bug or suggest an idea, navigate back to github.com slash sysigov slash scuba gear and click on Issues. From the GitHub Issues page, click on New Issue. Select Bug Report or Idea and describe the issue or idea. You will need a free GitHub account to do this. If you have any questions about scuba, Please contact us at scuba at sysa.dhs.gov. GitHub is Scuba's open source location for all bugs, errors, ideas, features, and enhancements requests. This concludes the demonstration of Scuba Gear, Sysa's security assessment tool for Microsoft 365.